When people talk about Monsters of the Skies, very few machines truly deserve the title. Yet, standing at the pinnacle of military aviation, the CH-53 Heavy Lift Helicopter is one of those rare creations that feels less like a machine and more like a living legend. The first time you see it, you don't just look at the CH-53, you feel it. Its sheer size dominates the runway, its rotor blade slicing through the air like the wings of a mechanical giant. It's the kind of aircraft that doesn't ask for attention, it demands it. Nicknamed the Super Stallion in some of its variants, the CH-53 is the largest and most powerful helicopter in the US military inventory. Built to carry what others can't, it has become the ultimate answer to the impossible question. How do you lift a battlefield into the sky? From the deserts of the Middle East to the unforgiving waters of the Pacific, the CH-53 has proven its worth time and again. It's not just a helicopter, it's a bridge between worlds, carrying men, machines, and missions where no other aircraft dares to go. The design of the CH-53 is nothing short of breathtaking. At first glance, its bulk might seem overwhelming, but every curve, every angle, every massive rotor blade is there for a reason. This is not about elegance, this is about raw, unapologetic power. Step closer, and you begin to notice the details. The triple engines, each roaring with the strength of thousands of horsepower, are the beating heart of this beast. The six-bladed rotor above is engineered to tame that immense power, transforming it into lift that defies logic. Inside, the cavernous cargo hold is where the true story unfolds. It can swallow vehicles whole, even armored ones, and still have room left for troops and supplies. It's a flying fortress, a machine that carries war and survival on its massive shoulders. The cost of this engineering marvel is staggering, but then again, greatness never comes cheap. Depending on the variant, the CH-53 can reach a price tag of over $100 million per unit. Yet for militaries that require absolute reliability in the harshest conditions, that cost is an investment in survival itself. What makes it more shocking is not just the price, but what that money buys. It buys the ability to carry up to 16 tons of payload, to lift an entire armored vehicle, to fly across oceans, and to land where there is no runway. Few machines can promise such a feat. It's not just about weight, it's about reach. The CH-53 can travel hundreds of miles over open seas, deliver troops deep behind enemy lines, or extract equipment from battle zones where no one else can reach. In this role, it's not simply an aircraft, it's a lifeline. Every war has its icons, and the CH-53 has earned its place among them. During operations in Afghanistan and Iraq, its massive silhouette became a symbol of power and resilience. Soldiers on the ground knew that when the CH-53 arrived, reinforcements, supplies, or rescue were never far behind. The drama of its presence is unforgettable. Imagine standing in the desert, the horizon silent, when suddenly a thunder grows louder, the ground begins to tremble, and dust storms whip into the air. Out of the haze, the CH-53 emerges, larger than life, like a war god descending from the skies. Its reputation for dominance is no accident. Every aspect of the CH-53 was built around one singular goal, to do what no other helicopter can. It is a machine born not from compromise, but from necessity, the necessity of power, reach and endurance. The engineering challenges were immense. To create a helicopter that could lift tanks, engineers had to rethink everything from rotor dynamics to structural integrity. The result is a masterpiece that combines brute strength with advanced aviation science. Its size may intimidate, but pilots speak of its surprising agility. Despite being the heaviest helicopter in the American arsenal, the CH-53 can maneuver with grace when needed, adjusting to battlefield demands with shocking responsiveness. Critics often point to its high cost and complex maintenance, but even they can't deny its unmatched utility. In a world where wars are decided by logistics as much as firepower, the CH-53 delivers what others cannot, the power to move entire armies through the sky. This isn't just a helicopter, it's a statement. It tells the world that the US military can bring overwhelming force wherever it chooses, no matter the terrain, no matter the odds. It embodies the idea of strategic reach, turning the impossible into the routine. The CH-53 has seen upgrades through the decades, with the CH-53K King Stallion emerging as the most advanced version yet. With new engines, composite materials, and digital avionics, it takes everything great about the CH-53 and pushes it into the future. The King Stallion can lift heavier loads, fly farther, and operate in conditions that would ground lesser aircraft. 
It's the natural evolution of a beast, leaner, smarter, and even more terrifying to those who stand against it. Of course, greatness also brings controversy. The CH-53K program has faced criticism for delays and soaring costs. Yet despite the hurdles, the aircraft remains one of the most vital assets for modern warfare, a machine too important to abandon. Beyond the battlefield, the CH-53 has proven its worth in humanitarian missions. It has delivered aid after natural disasters, evacuated civilians from danger zones, and shown that its might can serve not just war, but also life. This duality, the power to destroy and the power to save, is what makes the CH-53 so fascinating. It is a weapon of war, yet also a tool of mercy. Its rotors have carried both tanks and medical supplies, soldiers and survivors. It is rare for an aircraft to inspire on not just from its allies, but also from its enemies. The CH-53 does exactly that. Even adversaries admit that when this machine enters the skies, the battlefield changes. Perhaps the greatest testament to its success is its longevity. Decades after its first flight, the CH-53 continues to evolve, proving that true legends never fade. They adapt, they improve, and they endure. When historians look back on the machines that shaped modern warfare, the CH-53 will stand tall. Not as just another helicopter, but as a symbol of what human engineering can achieve when the stakes are survival itself. For militaries, for engineers, and for those who have served beneath its roaring rotors, the CH-53 is not just recommended, it is revered. It is a helicopter that defines heavy lift, a machine that has no equal. In the end, the CH-53 is more than steel, rotors, and engines. It is power made visible, a reminder that the skies themselves can be conquered with enough vision and will. It is not just a helicopter, it is the monster of the skies, and it will remain so for generations to come. This forms it into the backbone of military operations, a lifeline for troops, and a symbol of unstoppable force in the skies. The answer lies in the CH-53, a heavy-lift helicopter whose missions stretch far beyond what the eye can see. The CH-53 is not built for show, it is built for survival, strength, and success in the harshest environments. Whether hovering above deserts, storming through jungles, or navigating the freezing expanse of oceans, this helicopter embodies versatility. Its mission is not just to fly, it is to dominate the impossible. Every mission undertaken by the CH-53 begins with weight, the kind no other helicopter dares to lift. Tanks, artillery, armored vehicles, or massive supply loads, the CH-53 treats them as ordinary cargo. This is where its true mission shines, ensuring that no front line is ever left unsupported, no operation ever left stranded. But it is not just about raw lifting power. The CH-53 carries human lives, soldiers who trust its strength to deliver them into battle or evacuate them from danger. In missions of war, this helicopter becomes more than steel and blades, it becomes the beating heart of survival, a guardian in the skies. What makes its mission even more remarkable is its global reach. From humanitarian relief to combat operations, from desert storms to maritime rescues, the CH-53 adapts and conquers. When earthquakes strike or floods devastate, its mission shifts from warfighter to savior, proof that strength and compassion can fly together. Every mission also demands endurance. The CH-53 is engineered to travel long distances under heavy loads, a feat that makes it indispensable in both military and humanitarian campaigns. Where roads end and runways vanish, its mission continues, carving new pathways through the air. Its mission also comes with cost, financial and strategic. The CH-53 is one of the most expensive helicopters ever built, a fact that raises questions. Is such a price worth paying? The answer echoes in every successful mission where lives are saved, wars are turned, and nations are protected. Yet perhaps the greatest mission of the CH-53 is symbolic. It is a reminder to allies and a warning to adversaries, that the sky belongs not to the weak, but to those who dare to engineer power on an unimaginable scale. Its roar is not just sound, it is the voice of dominance. So what makes the mission of the CH-53 truly legendary? It is the way it combines scale, strength and spirit into one airborne titan. It does not just carry machines, men, or supplies. It carries the weight of responsibility, the burden of hope, and the promise that when the impossible is needed, the CH-53 will rise.